What happens if you get sick during your studies in the <laughs> Netherlands? And what happens if you make a, well, nasty fall? Do you know where to go or who to call? You probably have to visit a doctor or hospital, of course, and if so, it's important that you are insured. Now, that's what this video is all about. Healthcare. And healthcare in the Netherlands might be very different than the healthcare in your home country. In this video, we will walk you through it. First up, costs and insurance. Medical care is of high quality in the Netherlands and therefore medical costs for treatment can be very high, so it's important to be properly insured. In particular, when you need specialist help from the hospital, for example, or when you need to go to the dentist. I can imagine that you want to know more about insurance now, and luckily we've already made a separate video about this topic. So it's a good idea to watch this video as well. You will find a link of that video in the description. Next up, what to do in life-threatening situations. Hopefully you will never end up in a life-threatening situation, but in case this happens, call 112. This number is for the police, ambulance and fire brigade. Only call this number when the police, ambulance or fire brigade are very urgently needed. First aid. When you need medical help quickly, but you are in no need of an ambulance, you can go to the so-called spoedpost. In case of urgent medical care, you can get help 24 hours a day at the local hospitals in Deventer, Enschede and Apeldoorn. For medical help that's not directly needed, you have to go to a general practitioner also called a family doctor or a doctor of physician, or huisarts in Dutch. Registration with a general practitioner in the Netherlands is mandatory for everyone who plans to stay longer than four months. We can imagine that you want to know how it works visiting a general practitioner, so I will explain a little bit more about it. When you have a non-urgent medical or mental issue, the general practitioner is the first point of contact. You will need to make an appointment, and these are usually scheduled for 10 minutes. Medication can be prescribed during these appointments, which you can afterwards pick up at the pharmacy, also called apotheek in Dutch. And what if you need to go for a hospital visit? If you would like to see a medical specialist or go to the hospital to take a medical test, you will need a referral letter from your general practitioner. This letter is called a verwijsbrief in Dutch. You will need to bring this letter to the hospital appointment together with your insurance card. And after treatment, you'll get a receipt. You will need this when submitting a claim on the website of your health insurance provider. It depends on the type of health insurance, what amount will be refunded. This is how the medical system in our country works. The most important things are to make sure that you are properly insured and that you are registered with a general practitioner in your neighborhood. Hopefully nothing will happen to you, but if it does, you're better safe than sorry. This was our video about healthcare in the Netherlands. We made a bunch of other informative videos about studying in the Netherlands as well. So make sure to check those out. See you in the next one.